They've said no. Um, but hold on, pause, but, because they didn't say no. I mean, they didn't say no. They need to think about it. And now we need to bring them back. Okay, now, um, assuming, you know, like, oh, I want to think about it. I want to talk to my family. Assuming um, we want to isolate the issue and basically have them share with me, you know, what what the main concern is. Assuming your family, or let's assume your family was here, what do you think they would say? Well, say, that's, oh, after you, that's after you have isolated it, right? Oh. So first, first you have to isolate. So okay. in, that, in that example, it would be, of course, you have to talk to your family. Yeah. Um, so besides talking to your family, you know, and just making sure you get their blessing, mm -hmm. are there any other concerns you might have that would possibly prevent you from wanting to get this policy to protect them? Yeah. Okay. So, because they might say, well, I need mm -hmm. to check my budget or I have a car that I'm paying off and it'll be done in three months, right? Like you, mm -hmm. who knows? But if you don't yeah. ask, they're not going to tell you. Right. 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 So first you have to isolate. Yeah. But let's say no. Let's just say no. I just, I just want to talk to my family first. Yeah. And um, and that's it. Then then you just say, Oh, of course you do. Now let's pretend your family was here. I mean, mm -hmm. what do you think they would say? Because that will force them to come up with an answer. And, um, and then you just kind of feed off of that. Like, what yeah. do you think they would pick? Well, I think they would pick this one. Really? Why do you think they would pick that one? And after they tell you the answers, then you, then, you know, you, do you like that one too? Is that one, do you think that would provide them with the coverage that you're looking for? So they're, you know, you're not a burden on them. Mm -hmm. um, and then you do the opposite. So let's suppose you go to them this weekend and then they actually tell you they don't want you to get this coverage to protect them, that they'll just take care of it on their own. Hmm. What would you do then? Yeah. Right. And then, um, and then they'll have to, usually when I've done it, usually they'll say, well, I'll probably just do it anyways. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. They, and they then want, yeah. Okay. Before you go in for the kill, you have mm -hmm. to say, well, of course you do. I mean, we all want to protect our family. So, you know, let's assume you go to your kids, they love the idea, or even you go to them and they don't want you to do it, but you want to do it anyway. I mean, Carlos, is, is this program even something that you want to have? Mm. You know, well, yeah, I do. And if you don't mind me asking, you have to be very curious. If you don't mind me asking, I mean, why do you think that this would even help them? Like, what do you like about it the most? Mm. Well, I like this. I like this. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. I really like those too. But I mean, why now? I mean, you could just put it off another year, you know, like a lot of people would. <laughs> That's like trick psychology, like keep yeah. pushing it off. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, you oh, could man. put it off like a lot of people would and hope nothing happens to you. I mean, so <laughs> what's the urgency of, of doing something now? You have to be careful how you mm. ask that, but you have to ask very curious. You have to have good pausing mm. and they're going to say, cause anything can happen. You know, I could walk out tomorrow and get hit by a bus. Who knows? No. Okay. So now you have so much, you have so much ammunition. Now they've told mm. you the plan their family would pick if they were there. They told you they would do it anyway. If they go to them and their family says, no, they've told you again, why they want it. And they've told you why they want it now. So now you're in a position where you can come from a position of, do you, I mean, is it okay maybe if I make a recommendation? Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Because now you have them back up into a high. Price is gone. Now they're just mm. thinking about all the benefits and the value. Yeah. Seems to me, and now you recap the whole thing. It seems to me, you know, that if your family would hear, they would probably pick the 5,000 because of X, Y, Z. And if you go to them and they say, no, you're probably just going to do it anyway because of X, Y, Z. And I know you said you really liked the Guardian Society and the immediate payout and the coverage mm. amount would take care of everything. And you really don't want to wait much longer because anything could happen. You could walk out your door and get hit by a bus. Right. So, yeah. I mean, my recommendation would be to possibly at least apply for the $5,000 policy, you know, at least just to make sure you're approved. Yeah. Um, and how long was it you needed to talk to your kids? Was it was it a couple of days or is it like a couple of weeks? 
a couple of weeks. Okay. So if you get approved, we'll just push the start payment out by two or three weeks. And if okay. something changes between now and then, you just give me a call and we'll make the changes. Um, would that be a reasonable solution at this point? Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be reasonable. All people are looking for is for you to give them a reason to say yes. And you're not giving them a reason to say yes. You're just taking their excuse and you're pushing for the approval without doing all the work that's required before that. That's why it's not working. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. And I know that even when I do bring up things that they mentioned, it the way you approach it and is is the right way. It's smart um, versus like if I tell them, well, this this is going to be like you said earlier, you know, you don't want this to be a burden on your daughter. And you mentioned that instead of me telling them, ask them and have them reiterate or restate it. Right. So it, they've said it in their mind and it's just refocusing them. Right. Exactly. It doesn't okay. mean anything when you say it yeah, got it. or very little. It, yeah. uh, it only means something when they say it. Okay. Okay. That's why we ask throughout the script. Yeah. Um, you know, do you like this? Why do you like it? Right. Cause yeah. that's them restating the features and the benefits that they like to us and themselves rather than yeah. us saying, yeah, this is my favorite part of the program because it does this and this and this. Well, who cares yeah. how you feel about it? I want to know how they feel about it. Okay. Okay. That, that makes so much more sense. It's like, you know, that why question. And it's, I mean, it's about our the meetings. Like why do people get stuck on why it's like, I don't know. Even like you said, just re say it a different way. And you know, obviously it takes a lot of practice to say, okay, let me just say this a different way. Or you have a lot of information, you know, going through everything. It's like, okay, let's, well, why do you want that? And just stating it a different way um, is really smart, obviously. So but, yeah. it's, it's, you will see more success if you follow the process that I'm teaching, which is duplicatable, but you can also find within you a little bit more passion for what you do, um, have a little bit more curiosity in your conversations. Like, I understand you're looking for a price, but at this point, I don't even know if what we do can even help you yet, right? Yeah. Um, it, I'd have to have a little bit more understanding of <clears throat> You're looking at insurance to cover and if you have any existing policies so that is it okay if I asked you a few questions about your situation you know just to see if I can actually help you because it doesn't even make sense for me to give you a price if I don't know what you're looking for hmm. right you have to come in with that really curious tone so people believe you where you get sales resistance where people get mad is they don't believe you they think you're hmm. just pressuring them into have into giving them your sales pitch well yeah, I can give you a price, but I still need to tell you about all my features and benefits. Mm -hmm. That's okay. what they hear. I don't want to hear your features and benefits. I want your price. But when they hear, oh, this person needs to understand me so they can know if they can actually help me. Okay, you can go ahead and ask me some questions. Very different. Okay.